Johnny Depp speaks up on Amber Heard releasing new fake evidence. More and more twists are coming up in the series of Johnny Depp vs Amber Heard. Who is lying and who's winning the battle? And who just got caught presenting fake evidence? I will tell you all. A British court refused Johnny Depp's request to review a judge's ruling that he violated his ex-wife Amber Heard in March. The two have been fighting a legal battle for years now, since their divorce in 2016. The reason being stated was irreconcilable differences, but later Amber accused Johnny of abusing her during their marriage. Two Court of Appeal judges said the fame of Hollywood couldn't question the High Court's denial of his libel suit against the Sun newspaper's publicist for naming him a wife-beater in an editorial. James Dingermans and Nicholas Underhill, who were the justices for this lawsuit, said the earlier court trial was full and fair. The trial judges' judgments have not been shown to be arguably corrupted by any error of approach or law mistake. The law concluded that the appeal has no real possibility of success and no other compelling reason for it to be heard. High Court Justice Andrew Nicholl conducted in November that reports made in an April 2018 article against Depp were substantially true. The judge led to Depp, 57, attacked Heard, 34, at various events of the time and put her in terror for her life three times. Lawyers for Depp explained at a court hearing that Depp hadn't experienced fair hearing and that Heard was an untrustworthy witness. As proof of her unreliability, they insisted that Heard hadn't kept her commitment to donate her $7 million divorce settlement to charity. The claims judges said it was pure consideration and, in our view, very doubtful that the divorce money's outcome influenced Judge Nichols' decision. The court said that it was obvious from an interpretation of the judgment as a whole that the judge based his judgments on each of the events on his notably detailed review of the evidence precise to each incident. In an approach of that kind, there was limited call or scope for the judge to give authority to any general assessments of Ms. Hurd's credibility, as quoted. The High Court verdict came after a three-week hearing in July in which Depp and Hurd gave contrasting accounts of their concise, tempestuous union. During the trial, Depp admitted wide-ranging drug issues but claimed that Heard was making up violation allegations and emphasized that he was not a fierce person, especially towards women. His lawyers contended that the allegations in The Sun created serious harm to the actor's character and name and notable distress and embarrassment. Are you surprised by the situation? Keep watching the video till the end to know the entire story. In the wake of the verdict, Depp said he was leaving the Fantastic Beasts film series after studio Warner Brothers asked him to resign. Depp is also prosecuting Heard for $50 million in Virginia over a Washington Post op-ed article, a cheap end about domestic violence. The trial in that case was recently delayed until April 2022. He claimed that even though his name was not mentioned, it was intended to defame him. Now Heard's legal team has reacted to Heard's latest legal victory by saying that they were very pleased and by no means surprised by the court's rejection of Mr Depp's call for an appeal. The proof bestowed in the UK case was overwhelming and certain. To restate, the original decision was that Mr Depp performed domestic violence against Amber on no less than 12 occasions and she was left in despair of her life. The verdict and long, well-reasoned judgment, including the confidential judgment, have been asserted. Mr. Depp's request for new and important evidence was nothing more than a press strategy and has been soundly rejected by the court. While we'll have to observe if Johnny Depp proceeds to challenge the verdict made across the pond, the dismissal of his appeal application surely makes things look gloomy. Only time will tell how this decision eventually affects Depp's upcoming defamation case opposite Amber Heard. The statement from Amber Heard's legal team on Yahoo appears to symbolize that they are feeling convinced about the ongoing action with Johnny Depp, but there are months of events in court still left to happen, so it's far from over. Still, Depp's failure in his libel case against The Sun has already led to some major professional connotations. For his part, Johnny Depp's legal team published their statement in reply to the recent shakeup. It says, The data presented at last week's hearing the appeal of Mr. Depp vs. News Group Newspapers Limited further confirms that there are transparent and sensible reasons to question the decision given in the UK court earnestly. 
Mr. Depp looks forward to offering the complete irrefutable evidence of the US libel case's accuracy against Ms. Heard, where she will have to provide complete disclosure. Soon after, the sun came out on top in the libel case, Warner Brothers demanded Johnny Depp to step down from his role as Grindelwald in the Fantastic Beasts franchise, and it seems like the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise will also be continuing without their lead actor Depp as Jack Sparrow. As for Amber Heard, she's yet to appear in Aquaman 2. What's more, she recently refreshed her character as Mira in Zack Snyder's Justice League, engaging in reshoots for the new Nightmare series. Supporters of Depp have joined a popular petition to have Heard withdrawn from the DCEU due to the accusations of abuse that he's thrown her way. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's legal battles show no signs of fading away, so let us all just wait and watch and hope the battle ends soon and they get what they deserve. So this is how, once again, Johnny and Amber are back on the same track, accusing and fighting and suing and stuff. I hope you've had fun watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did, and stay tuned to Hear Lux Life for more exciting and drama-filled videos.